the stars cooled over Pretty girls with hearts cut open We crossed eyes and no one was watching No one, no one City lights, your eyes were hearts open We made ties so loose we couldn't hold them Our goodbye was something that you know it You know, you know All things fall down like leaves falling in snow So kiss me falling Before I lay go, lay go All things fall down Like leaves falling in snow So kiss me falling Before I lay go, lay go Don't pass skies when clouds cut open Diamonds fall like tears from your eyelids Fact time fly but still lived in the moment Fast love dies when I see the horizon All things fall down Like leaves falling in the snow So kiss me falling Before I let go, let go All things fall down Like leaves falling in the snow So kiss me Alright, let's get this clear. Yes, I did travel all of South America from north to south with only a thousand dollars for nine months. But this is not the adventure of a grand conqueror who finds the key to all his happiness and the meaning of life. Now, nah, Mel, this ain't the story. For you guys to understand this, you guys are gonna have to start from the beginning, from where it all started. And if you know me, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Maybe you'll look at me a little different. Maybe you won't. I don't really care. I don't think it matters. And if you're not, welcome. I'm glad you're here. All right, let's get this started. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with a whole backstory about my life or anything of that nature. Let's start the day I had the biggest change in my life to that point. That'd be graduating high school. All right, let me set the scenario. 18 year old me just graduated high school, meaning for the first time in my life, I could decide if I wanted to get out of the system, the rat race. So, you know what? I did. You see, earlier that year, to be exact, 2017, I traveled across the Atlantic Ocean, like many of the great adventurers before me. Only, it took me a couple hours instead of months, and I didn't have a ship or crew. I had two high school teachers, one of their sons, and some classmates. They were cool though. You see, this trip I took made me want to explore the world. So when I got back home, I made up my decision that after high school, I would travel. And just like that, I bought a one-way ticket to Colombia, where I spent the first six months of my nine-month journey. You see, in the moment, I didn't really care about leaving everything behind. So I packed all my stuff and I moved to Colombia. For those of you who don't know, I'm Colombian. So when I was there, I got to catch up with a lot of old friends and family. While in Colombia, I reunited with this man, my uncle, who went to a very prestigious film school. But for me in that moment, he was just my hippie uncle who taught me stuff on my camera. Until the first major shift in my journey, I was really just traveling around Colombia and exploring the country that my parents were from. Until my uncle offered me to work alongside him on a documentary. And so I did, and this led me to working with my uncle on numerous projects and beginning to understand the real craftsmanship of filmmaking. Then in the midst of all this creative knowledge I was absorbing came the next shift in my life. I got my heart broken. <laughs> I'm just playing. I mean, I did. It's all good now, but in the moment it hurt. And I said, fuck it, and packed all my things in a bag, and I started tracking all down South America. Finishing Colombia with my family in the closing months of 2017, I finished the year in Colombia and then later made my way down to Ecuador two days before my 19th birthday. I spent 20 days in Ecuador with my cousin who just happened to be there. I spent most of my time in Quito and I traveled with my cousin on a weekend trip to an amazing place called Baños, Ecuador. 
After leaving my beloved cousin, I made my way down to the south of Ecuador, to a beach called Montañita, where I met two Chilean girls who were really dope. Shout out to you guys if you guys are watching. And would later meet two amazing friends from Argentina, who I would later become very close friends with, and even have a relationship to this day. After leaving Ecuador, I made my way down to Peru, in the beaches of Mancora, where I slept on a hammock and learned how to scavenge for food. <laughs> Then I went to the capital city of Lima, where I stayed with my cousin for two weeks. Realizing that I was running out of time, I made my way out of Lima to the amazing deserts and then crossed the Andes for 18 hours on a bus where I almost froze myself to death and finally made it to Cusco. But no, I didn't go to Machu Picchu. I was too broke. <laughs> then I crossed the border into Bolivia at Lake Titicaca. God, I laughed so hard when I got there. My fifth grade self was so proud. Spent a total of 36 hours in Bolivia seeing the most beautifully natural thing I had ever seen, El Salar de Uyuni. God, that thing was beautiful. A group of Chilean girls helped me get all the way from Bolivia to Santiago de Chile, the capital of Chile. And damn, I was blown away by how advanced the city was. Extremely beautiful and progressive. Stayed a couple of weeks with my family and finally made my way to my final destination, to Buenos Aires, Argentina. Now let's take a moment so you can see how much I traveled in the span of three months. And just like that, I was finally at my last stop. My cousin let me crash on her inflatable bed in her studio, but damn, anything was appreciated. Pro tip, when you're traveling, never say no to free sleeping. I then met up once again with my Argentinian friends who took me on some of the most wild adventures of my life. And just in the blink of an eye, I was at the airport. Actually, I was at the wrong airport. <laughs> Almost missed my flight, but somehow managed to find someone who would change my flight and I finally made it back home. The end. Oh, and also my brother's like this cool ass actor. And the week I came back, I got to meet all these cool famous people because of him. So shout out to my little brother. Okay, now story time is done. All right, now that you understand where I'm coming from, you can see where I'm going. You see, when I was traveling all of South America, I didn't only fall in love with filmmaking, I fell in love with art as a whole. And now that I've come back to the United States, I've been focusing on creating a company, an art production company to be exact. A company with the focus of empowering the youth, empowering young creatives to create art that makes us challenge the way we see our world around us. Our company's focus is to help society realize that the world isn't all it is at face value. To really deep deep and to question our society as a whole. And we want to help other artists and artists within our community to help demonstrate that we can change this world and our society through amazing art. And the name for our production company is, drum roll please, Nab Arts. So some of you guys might know where it comes from, some of you guys might not. I'll let you guys uh, decipher that one. So our company has its own website, its own Instagram. You guys can check it out. All the links will be in the description. In our website, you can find some of our current projects, our latest projects, and some of our future projects. And yes, we do have some projects under production right now, such as Thrifted, the fashion show. Links will be in the description to all that stuff. More details coming out very soon. And I can't wait to keep all of you guys up to date and to show you guys how this company and how this family surrounding this YouTube channel and surrounding everything is going to grow and uh, I'm just happy to uh, be on the ride. Oh yeah, and I forgot, there's some amazing artists that have been working alongside me, helping me create these amazing projects and not all of them I was able to reach out to, but some of them I was able to reach out to, so I wanted to kind of introduce you guys, so I made these little cool ass montage videos, so... Living like I'm on a tightrope, but won't fall This ain't no scrimmage, this is for the title The neuro, and I got high hopes Ain't got no rivals Cause rivals stand a chance These jokers type us Ay, Am I my my what I control? I might god, I am the image of the light in my soul I'm a star, as bright as high no I might just blind you Even with blurry vision You know that I ain't true Get a beat I'm on, I 
made a hit. I birthed the drums and I raised the kick. But like Abraham, I gotta kill this kid. To be the saint that I said I've been. I'm saying so bad and my halo's bent. Cause the saints is bad, but I still repent. And I'm feeling real fly cause I'm heaven sent. To the peace of when I die, I'ma resurrect. I am the king of my world. I cannot die, I'm too alive and I won't be conquered. My halo's down, flying solo. It's cracked with no glow. But I'ma fix the dimmer and shine the rose gold. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but I'm trying to get better I gave away some clothes, but then I copped a googie sweater You can wear a jacket, but you cannot change the weather So if my soul is cold, I guess I'll cop another layer, oh yeah The fist of jib, but my soul's a fix the drip, hide the darkness Back when the kid rocked the book of fit, I was pure and guided But now I got the drip and now I run my own world Until my world starts crumbling, I guess I won't lie. I am the king of my world I can I die, I'm too alive and I won't be conquered My halo's down, flying solo It's cracked with no glow But I'ma fix the dimmer and shine the rose gold and of course we have our awesome writer who lives in Boston so I couldn't really do one of those cool montage videos for her. So instead I asked her to send me a video of her just throwing up a peace sign for y'all. Now that you guys understand what Nab Arts is and how we're trying to change the way society sees the world through art, you guys can help us keep funding projects like these through our Patreon account. On Patreon, for less than a cup of coffee a month, you guys can help us create wonderful art and you guys get exclusive perks like behind the scenes look, early previews for screenings, and early ticketing, and much, much more. You see, even Leonardo da Vinci had Patreons. Back in those days, Patreons were usually just the rich and they helped artists make art. What they would do is they would donate some money and the artist would live off of that money while they were making art and those people would be invited to these special expos by the artist. So it's pretty much the exact same thing, only I don't just want rich Italian white men. I want everyone in this community. This community is important to me and I want it to grow naturally. I don't just want this for the money or because I want to get famous or for the clout. I really do want to grow this as a community full of forward thinking people who want to change the world through art. So I invite you guys to check out our Patreon. The link will be in the description. So if you want to be part of this growing community of forward thinking individuals, join us. This will be the official YouTube channel for everything Nab Arts and we'll have all of our new and original content. Yes, even my new age bohemian vlogs. LOL if you still remember those. <laughs> Make sure to check out our website, our Patreon to support us, and all of the artists' links will be in the description that were in this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date anything Nab Arts, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.